Hamid and I have been playing together since we were teenagers in Chicago. And Ralph Jones and I have been playing together since we were teenagers we met in Detroit. So there's a long, long history of developing together, uh, exchanging ideas, having meals together, touring together, and of course performing together and recording together. Once we had the recording, uh, I felt like there was a lot of magic and value to it. But um, I felt like we didn't really need another record release of kind of, this is what we done did played that day, you know? Um, so I've been working a lot with uh, this electronic processing as part of uh, um, uh, it's part of what I do live with the group. And um, also I've always felt that the, the, as I said before, the creative process itself and what we call composition can embrace many, many different things. So in this case, I became interested in focusing more on the post-production. And so I spent a lot of time uh, uh, with, the, with the recording uh, cutting things up, making loops, running different tracks through different kinds of uh, sound processing boxes and outboard gear, and just went completely free and open to where that would lead. And what that meant was to sort of, without pushing it in a direction, but letting the music take on its own life and its own Form. So it was, it was a compositional process, not unrelated to like when I would write a string quartet where you let the music uh, come be birthed into its own form and shape, but in this case, the post-production became a really big element of that, um, uh, the, the post-production did. It became its own compositional element. So that process, to me, yielded a record that is completely its own prototype. I've never heard anything like it before and very uh, pleased with how it came out.